Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. Some of you already know that I've started my VFX bundle. It includes all pre-made effects from this channel, which can be used in any software, such as Premiere Pro, Final Cut, After Effects and even Sunny Vegas. VFX bundle is constantly updating. Today I've added already made effect from this tutorial. As also After Effects project itself for you to explore. Price is getting a bit higher, but best part of it, that if you buy now, all future updates are completely free. So if you already bought it for the lowest price I had, it was $14. That it means that you can re-download VFX bundle and use today's effect in your videos. Now price is set to $18, so it's a good idea to purchase now. Because the bigger VFX bundle gets, the higher price will be. So purchase just one time now and enjoy with all new free updates which comes with each new tutorial on this channel. Thank you very much to those who already purchased my VFX bundle. It really helps to spend more time on making new effects for you. Let's get started. I'm using Adobe After Effects CC 2015. So let's create new composition by clicking here. Let's call it Final Effect. Set duration to 6 seconds. And click OK. Now let's create new solid. Go to Layer, New, Solid. So basically this effect contains four main parts. Blessed particles around, circular particles, liquid-like particles and the main light source. So now we are going to start with blessed particles around. So let's call it blessed particles around and click OK. Now go to Effect, Trap Code, Particular. If you don't have this effect, you can find link in description to this video. Select it. And now if you want to have exact same look as you see on screen, you need to pay attention where I set my keyframes. So now set your time cursor to 20th frame, as you can see here. And let's create our first keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch. Here let's set it to 450,000 and move to next frame by clicking here and set it to zero. Change emitter type to box, so we could change size of X, Y and Z. Let's also set all of these parameters to zero. Then move your time cursor to 17th frame and set a keyframe to size X, set it to zero. Then let's move to 19th frame and set keyframe to size Y and also set it to zero. And then move to next frame and at size X set to 2660 and size Y let's set it to 444. Now as you can see we created baseline for our horizontal blast. Now let's work on our particle look. Open this tab here. Life of particles let's set it to 4 seconds. Feathering let's set it to 0. And size of the particles, we want to have them like a dust. So set it to 0.4. Let's change our size over life. Click here to open this tab. And here at preset, choose this preset here. Or just draw a line like this. And then let's go lower to the physics. Open physics tab here. Gravity, let's set it to minus 15. And here at air, let's open turbulence field. Affect size, let's set it to 3. Complexity, let's set it to 4. And evolution speed, let's set it to 5. And finally, let's add some animation. For this, we are going to use this affect position value. So let's go back to 17th frame. Let's cut this layer to this moment. And create our first keyframe. Click on this stopwatch. Then select this layer here and press U on keyboard. Now we can see our keyframes. Then let's go to 3rd seconds and 6th frame and set effect position value here 
2500. Select this keyframe, press F9 on keyboard, so animation will be softer, and go to graph editor. Then click on this handle and drag it over here. It will make this animation go fast at the beginning and slower at the end. If your graph doesn't look like this, click on this icon here and change to edit speed graph. Let's click on this icon here to go back. And as you can see, we have already some cool animation. Let's cut off this part here, because here will be our floor. So go to Effect, Transition, Linear Wipe. Set it to about 26 and change Wipe Angle to 0. And Feather, let's set it to 200. So we just cut our bottom part. Let's make these particles more visible. Go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. And here at the Alpha channel, let's bring up, like this. Then maybe let's go to Effect, Blur, Fast Blur, or Gaussian Blur, and set it to about 2, so it would look a bit softer. And go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. And at the Alpha channel, let's also make it brighter. And then let's enable our motion blur. Click on this toggle switch to see this motion blur here. And click here as well. You can change visibility of your particles as you like. I set it higher so you could see better. And also let's go to effect, blur and sharpen, CC vector blur. Let's change type to perpendicular, amount to about 22, and angle offset to 340. And maybe a rich smoothness, let's set it to about 2.2. Now we have this magic liquid like pattern. We can scroll up and change the look here at random seed. Click on this value and then press up on keyboard to find which you like better. I think it looks pretty cool. I really don't like these particles around, so let's fix this by selecting these two keyframes at a meter size Y, and let's try move it over. It seems to work well. And now let's press T on keyboard to animate our fading. About here on 3rd second and 19th frame, let's create a keyframe. And about here, 2nd second and 17th frame, let's also create keyframe here. Go back to this last one and set it to 0. Select both of them and press F9 on keyboard to make animation softer. Close it here. Now let's create our circular particles. Go to Layer, New, Solid. And let's call it Circle Particles. And click OK. Let's move it to 13th frame, so it will start here. And go to Effect, Trapcode, Particular. Particles per second, let's set it to 10,000. Emitter type to box, position XY, let's create a keyframe and set it here to zero. So our particles will fall down from here. Velocity, let's set it to zero. Emitter size X, let's set it to width of our composition. It's 1920. And these two values, let's set it to zero. Now let's work on our particle look. Life of particles, let's set it to two seconds. Size, let's set it to 3. Let's also move to 21st frame. As you can see here, switch off this button layer. So we can see only these particles. And now change this value to 143. Press U on keyboard to see our keyframes. Select them. And press F9 to make animation softer. Let's go to size over life here. Open this tab and select this preset. You can also click here and move these points like this to create this shape. Then let's go to physics down here, open it and gravity let's set it to 500. Let's open this air tab at air resistance let's set the value of 0.4 then open turbulence field and set effect position to 400. So basically our goal is to create this kind of particle movement 
and then and then we are going to lock this in the circle so this fun animation will go outwards so with this effect position as you can see we can change the look of these waves scale let's set it to 5 and evolution speed to 100 if you want to have a different look you just change this scale I prefer to have less of these waves and now let's lock this into circle go here to effects and presets tab and type polar coordinates select this effect and drag on our circle particles then change here to rec to polar and set it to 100 let's also work with this animation select this keyframe here and go to graph editor and drag by this handle click on this icon again and now as you can see we made our particles explode from the center now let's cut our bottom select this layer below then find our linear wipe select it and go to edit copy then select circular particles and go to edit paste let's also copy our cc vector blur select this layer let's find our cc vector blur go to edit copy then select this layer above go to edit paste so now we have this liquid like look and finally let's make it a bit brighter so go to effect color correction curves and here at alpha channel drag a bit up like this we can also select this layer and press s on keyboard let's set it to 150 and maybe move it up close it here and switch it off and now let's create our liquid splashes go to layer new solid let's call it liquid particles go to effect trap code particular particles per second let's set it to 1500 and now let's emit these particles from the light so go to layer new light change here light type to spot and click ok press p on keyboard set it here to 960 here to 540 and here to zero so we would have our light at the center let's also rename it press return on keyboard and type emitter name of this is very important so type emitter with two t's click anywhere then select our emitter and press r on keyboard x rotation let's set it to 45 it will face upwards z rotation let's set it to minus 85 so it would emit particles at us and about here at ninth frame create a keyframe set it to minus 50 and about here set it to 50 maybe move it closer like this select both of them and click f9 on keyboard and then press ctrl c on keyboard to copy these keyframes and about here at 21st frame press ctrl v then copy all of these keyframes by pressing ctrl c on keyboard and about here ctrl v to paste and paste a bunch of those close this tab here and select our liquid particles so now we want to connect our particles to this light so it would spread the particles in both ways so for this we need to change our emitter type to light here set it to zero all of these values and velocity let's set it to 750 and let's also change direction to directional so now as you can see we are spreading particles from our light but we want to sprite just a bunch at a time so to do this let's create a keyframe here at particle seconds let's set it to 15,000. then press u on keyboard to see it right mouse click on this keyframe and go to toggle hold keyframe and about here let's change to zero let's move it over here and create another one by changing to zero move it over and then change to 15,000. and about here let's change to zero so by doing this as you can see we just generate a bunch of particles 
Let's also copy these keyframes by clicking Ctrl C on keyboard. And about here, click Ctrl V. You can also hold Alt key on keyboard and click on this very last keyframe and drag it to the left. You can copy all of these and paste over here, maybe here. And let's also spread it a bit like this and maybe change like this. And then hold Alt key on keyboard, press and hold and click on this velocity stopwatch. Now we can create some expression. Let's type wiggle, open bracket, 11, comma, 500, and close bracket. So now we're generating particles all around. And then let's work on our particle look. Open this particle tab. Life of particles, let's set it to 4. Size over life, let's select this preset here. Click on this icon to make this shape. Then scroll down. And here at physics, let's set the gravity to 500. So as you can see now our particles fall down. Let's also create some floor for them. Go to layer, new, solid and call it floor. And let's change to some color and click OK. Change it to 3D by clicking here. Then press R on keyboard and change X rotation to 90 degrees. And then press P on keyboard and move it lower like this. Just about here. Close it and switch off. Then select this liquid particles. Go down here. And here at air, set it to bounce. Then open this bounce tab. At, at floor, select our floor. And here at collision event, select stick. As you can see, they face other direction. So let's select our emitter. Press R and change X rotation to 110. So these particles will fly at us. Close this tab here. And let's also copy our CC vector blur from any of these bottom layers. Select one of them. Scroll down. Select CC vector blur. Go to edit. Copy. And then select liquid particles layer. And go to edit. Paste. Then let's go to effect. Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur or Gaussian Blur. And let's set it to 6. Our goal is to make them look like a liquid. So let's add some curve. Go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. Here at Alpha Channel, let's make this shape. So basically you can change as you want. Just make sure that it would look like liquid. Let's close it here. Press U on keyboard two times fast to see all of our keyframes as also this expression and let's change maybe to 15 and here to 700 and here at velocity let's also change to 750 so as you can see by changing this expression here to a bit higher values and changing this velocity here you can create different look let's leave it like this for this tutorial close it here and switch off and now let's add some main light go to layer new solid let's call it light flare change color to black and click ok then type here lens flare and drag it on this layer here then change to this preset position let's change it to 970 and here to 500 so it will be almost at the center let's also add some fast blur Go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur. Set it to about 120. Click on this checkbox here. And also go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint. And let's maybe add some curves. Go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. And make this S shape here. Let's also add some Effect, Color Correction, Exposure. And here at 13 frame, let's move it over. Set a keyframe here and here by clicking on these stopwatches. And here let's set it to 0.75 and here to about 0.5. Hold Alt key on keyboard and click on this stopwatch here. Type wiggle, open bracket, 7, comma, 
0 0.5 close bracket and click anywhere. So now we have this pulsing animation. Press U on keyboard one more time to see only our keyframes. And here at 19th frame, let's set it to 0.9. And here to 0.75. Let's also here at the start change these keyframes way down. So we would have this kind of animation. And then close this tab here. Now let's enable these layers and also click on this toggle switch here and change this mode to add. Maybe a light flare, let's set it to, to 110. And now let's preview this. This is pretty hard effect, so preview time will be really slow, depending on your computer power. It looks pretty cool. You can also duplicate some layers. Like for example, this blessed particles around. You can select it and press Ctrl D on keyboard. Then right mouse click on it and go to transform flip vertical and then also right mouse click on it and go to transform flip horizontal and maybe move it a bit like this and then move it down here and change wipe angle to 180 to cut this bottom part and now if we preview this we will have more violent look and now let's add some fire color to this so let's create a new solid, go to layer, new, solid, call it background, click OK and drag it down like this. And then go to layer, new, adjustment layer, drag it up and go to effect, color correction, curves. It's really important to have this black background so you would have ability to change colors. So now let's go to red channel and make this shape. Then go to blue channel and create this shape. Then go to green channel and create this S shape. And maybe add some red. And then go to RGB channel and create this S shape. So this is how you can add some fire color. It's also good to have some reflection. So go to this project tab. And drag this final effect to this icon here to create new composition. And here you can duplicate this layer. Go to edit, duplicate. Select this button layer. Press S on keyboard to change scale. Then click on this lock icon and change size to about 36 and move it lower. Here change mode to add. Then select this layer below and go to effect. Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur or Gaussian Blur. And then just change to really high number. Move it lower, then press T on keyboard and set it lower. Then you can import your video and set it below and have your result. Let's switch off for now all of these layers. And finally, let's add some beam. Go to Layer, New, Solid. Let's call it Spell. And click OK. And then select this pen tool. And in my video I just draw this mask. Then I've used Saber plugin. It's a free plugin from Video Copilot. Apply it. And change preset to Torch. Then here at Customize Core change to Layer Mask. Core size I have set it to 4.2. Color I've changed to reddish. Start size I've set it to 25. Start roundness to 2, end size to 200, and end roundness to 2. And then I went to flicker and set a flicker intensity to 50 and flicker speed to 30. Here at distortion and glow distortion, I've set it to 25. A distortion type I changed to energy. Wind speed I've set it to 10. And wind direction, I've set it to minus 45. Here at chord distortion, amount, I've changed it to 15. Wind speed, change it to 10. Here to minus 45. And finally, here at glow settings, I've changed nothing. So, this is pretty much my preset to spell beam. You can also press M on keyboard. And by clicking on this stopwatch, you can create keyframes and just make 
this part follow your wand. So yeah, this is pretty much all effect. Don't forget to buy my VFX bundle, so with your support I could create more effects for you. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time. Oh, 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 o